all right everyone so now that we have unboxed the iphone 16 which i must say is looking amazing in this color we're going to take a look at some of the best budget friendly clear cases that can be found on amazon now this here is the ring key spigen esr and jet tech clear case now these three are in MagSafe. The Rinky one, I actually couldn't find the MagSafe one on Amazon. Maybe you can in your region. And like I said, these are all budget friendly. So they should be about $20 or less depending on your region. With that, we'll also take a look at how the camera cutout or the camera control cutout performs on all these cases. We'll also weigh these cases so we'll know which one is the lightest and which one is the heaviest. So based on that, maybe you could make a good decision. And if you do end up liking this video, make sure to be subscribed to the channel for any future content. And then also have the link to these cases in the description box down below in case you do want to check these out. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first case we are going to take a look at is the Rinky Clear case. Personally, this is one of my favorite cases of all time. The first thing we'll take a look at is the clear coating in itself. So this is a matte pack and I think it's showing the color of the phone really nicely. So that's good. And then we'll take a look at the cutouts which are very precise here. And then around the camera as well. The camera in itself is also well protected by the raised bar, whatever you want to call it. And then the cutout for the camera control is also really good. So let's see how, oh, actually let's take a look at how the display is protected because this is also one of the best things I like about these cases. So if you'll notice properly, the raised flip is only around the top and bottom section of the display. That way, if you have a screen protector, the sides are actually flush with the phone, which is something that I really like on these cases. So that is nice. And then we'll see how the buttons perform in terms of clickiness. So they're very good. Volume up and down. The action button is new, so that's nice. And then we'll take a look at how the camera button performs. No, we're not gonna call that a button. It's camera control. So we are able to swipe, go through different settings, and then also zoom in. So that's nice. Yeah, overall I would say it's a pretty solid case. As you can see, we were able to use the camera control without any issues, good protection all around. Looks pretty lightweight actually. I think it might be one of the lightest cases out of these four, but we'll see that at the end of the video. And overall, I would highly recommend this case. So now let's take a look at the next case. And the next case we're taking a look at is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid, which is also one of my favorite cases that I've used in the past on these phones. Now, the first thing we'll take a look at is probably the cutouts. The cutout for the camera control is really good, precise. Same goes for the bottom and then the same goes for the camera. And then the camera as well is protected by that cutout. So that is good. And then there is also a good lip around the display. So the display is also protected by that. And then there's also room to have a screen protector in there. So that is really good. Overall, it is also showing the color of the phone nicely. But keep in mind, this is not a matte back case. I couldn't find that on Amazon Canada. So this is a clear transparent case, which means it will catch fingerprints like it is doing right now but that's something that you might wanna check out or maybe get the matte case. Nonetheless, it is showing the color of the phone pretty nicely. Overall, it doesn't feel that heavy. It's probably a little bit heavier than the Rinky case, but we'll find that later. And then let's see how the clickiness of the buttons is. So the buttons are nice and clicky. And then we'll also take a look at the camera control. So we are able to swipe easily. It does take a bit of getting used to this new camera control. I haven't used it much, so you can probably see how I'm not doing that well. And yeah, overall, this is a solid case. It also has MagSafe, so if you have a MagSafe charger, it is a must. 
I guess. And then this is probably going to help with that. And yeah, overall solid case. So yeah, let's move on with the third case. Now let's take a look at the third case, which is the ESR hybrid case. Once again, I've used these cases in the past on the iPhones, on my iPhones. I've recommended these to my friends as well. So these are really good cases. This is a matte black case, so it's not showing the color of the phone as well. So maybe one of the reasons you might not like this case, but overall I think it still looks solid. Now we'll take a look at the cutouts. The camera cutout is right there. Uh, sorry, the camera control cutout is right there. It doesn't look as big as the other two cases we just saw from Rinky and Spigen, but we'll see how it performs. And then the cutout for the bottom speaker USB-C port is also there. And then there's the action button and then the camera cutout or the camera bar. And then the camera is also protected by the raised bar. And then there's ample space for a screen protector with this raised lip around the display. So that is nice. And let's take a look at how the buttons actually perform. So you have seen my passcode, which is fine. Oh, actually like the way these cutouts are for the buttons, but we'll see. Yeah, they're pretty clicky as expected. That's nice. And then this one I'm a bit worried about, but we'll see. Okay, so is actually a little bit tougher than the other two cases that we just used. The reason is there's less space around the camera control than the other two cases that we just saw. That's the reason there's a little bit of hindrance from this raised uh, cutout, I would say. But it's not that tough, honestly. I mean, you could get used to it but it's something that is a bit bothersome. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, if I were going to keep this case, I probably wouldn't because this is really hindering the camera control experience. Like when you're pressing it, I'm not sure if you can see, but you're basically pressing against this part. Let's see. So I wouldn't probably recommend this case. So not a good job ESR, but maybe the other cases from ESR would be nice, but this one probably isn't. As an FYI, this is the one that I got. So it's the ESR hybrid case uh, designed for MagSafe. So maybe if you are going to buy this case, maybe don't, but it's up to you. And with that, let's take a look at the final case, which is the JetTech case. Okay, this is the final case, which is JetTech or JETech. I like to call them JetTech because it sounds cool. This is their MagSafe case. It is matte black, I think. I'll double check that. But it's still showing the color of the phone a little bit, not as much as I would like. There's the camera control cutout, which looks probably similar to ESR, so it might not perform that well, we'll see. And then the cutouts for the bottom sections, which are precise. And then there's the buttons and then the cutout for the camera and the flash. And as always, the camera is protected by the raised section. And then so is the display. So there is space for a screen protector and then the display should still be protected. And let's see how the buttons perform. Okay. They are clicky as expected. The action button works well. And then the moment that we probably are a bit scared of. This branding is nice actually, Jetech. I think it was on the other cases too, but I didn't notice. Let's see. Okay. So if you'll see when I am swiping, the case does kind of hinder that experience like the case moves as well so you are like clicking on the case which I believe was not the case with Spigen and ESR but we'll double check I don't think I noticed there so overall not bad I mean if if personally you don't like this you might not want to buy this case 
just because of that and then you will see there's also that bit of space between the phone and that bezel or whatever you want to call it there so that's something that i noticed with the uh, esr and then the jet tech case so maybe you might not want to buy the jet tech case as well this is the one that i got it is magnetic phone case black actually so this this is matte black actually let's take this off and see how the ring key performed in terms of that cutout so there is going to be a sound okay so there it is now you'll notice the ring key doesn't move as much as the other cases did and then there's also more space around the ca camera control yeah i think this one is better because this bottom or uh, this upper part of the case this plastic section is not moving as much as the other cases so the esr and jet tech okay so that's done and now we will take a look at the let's take a look at how much each case weighs so i'll be right back all right so we have our weighing machine the first case we'll weigh is the ring key which is 28 grams so not bad and then the second one is spigen which is 35 so a little heavier than the ring key and then the third is the ESR hybrid which is 33 so less than the Spigen but more than the Rinky and then the final is the Jet Tech case which is just one gram I guess more than the ESR so the lightest is Rinky then 32 for ESR 33 for Jet Tech and 35 for Spigen so these are all the four cases for the iPhone 16. Hopefully this video will help you make a decision about which case or company is better. I think Spigen and Rinky were really good. If you can find the MagSafe case in Rinky in matte back transparent, that's probably the best thing you can do. And then the Spigen also is good, although it's a bit on the heavier side. And then the ESR at JetTech don't have a really good cutout for the camera controls. So that is it for this video guys. Hopefully you like it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all in the next one pretty soon.